later in the class. Well, today for grade 7, we are going to look into chapter 1. But the sub part what we are going to look is to positive nouns. Right? Fine. Now, in the previous class you might have already learned about singular and plural nouns which are already taken. Now, possessive nouns. What do you mean by possessive? The meaning itself you should know first, right? What do you mean by possessive? For example, uh, yeah, there is a water bottle over here. So, whose water bottle is this? This is mine. The answer will be, this is mine. Somebody will say, this is mine. No, this is hers, right? So, what is the word over there? It is mine. The answer for the question, whose, is mine. Then, for example, some other girl says, no ma'am, it is hers. So, here again, hers or his, maybe yours. So, these are possessive pronouns. That means, whatever thing or object or person or place, what I am talking about, who does it belong to? Who does it own it? Whose house is that? If I ask, if I look at some house and say, whose house is that over there? What would the answer? Maybe some person, right? Fine. We may say, the house is, the house is of Mr. Mehta's. Right? So, who does this house belong to now? It's to Mr. Mehta somebody. So, imagine, see, so the house is owned by Mr. Mehta. So, let me tell you very clearly, possessive nouns mean that something, some place or object is owned by somebody. Okay? And, to show the difference, we normally use apostrophe plus S. To show possessive noun, we normally use apostrophe plus S. Or maybe sometimes only apostrophe. This is called as apostrophe. Right? So you, have, you should know what is apostrophe. Fine? Now, these are processive pronouns. Let me tell you very clearly what over here is possessive pronoun. Fine? Themselves. There are more examples. Themselves, herself, you know, yourself. So it goes on. Clear? You should be aware of this. These are pronouns which are known as possessive pronouns. And sometimes we use apostrophe plus S to show the position to the nouns. Okay. Now, let's go to some forms of possessive pronoun. Now, what is the first condition? Now, you might have singular noun. Singular nouns. That you know, uh, singular nouns. How can you mention it? Uh, for example, you for example, if it is Mehra, Mehras. Okay, Gita, Gitas. Fine, Shams. So can you see? These are singular. Fine. And what are we using along with it? We are actually using. Apostrophe plus S to singular nouns. Okay. You can use anything else also. For example, horse, horses. Fine. Yeah. Now, the second condition is you have singular noun. You have singular noun that end in S. Yeah? You have, for example, boss. Yeah? Chairs. Yeah? Then you have some name maybe. Thomas. You know, can you see this? It ends in S. Such singular. Now, you have to add, you can either add apostrophe alone or you can either add apostrophe plus s. Anyone can do. Okay. For example, boss, bosses, chairs, Thomas, Thomas. 
muscles. Either can do both the meaning are same. Fine? That you have to use only with singular nouns that end in S. This is the second condition. Now the third.